Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Splinter Cell Chaos Theory Map Tours. Today we're going to be looking into Phoenix Def Tech Bellu. Uh, definitely a bit of an underrated map if you ask me. Um, it's, it's a Pandora Tomorrow map, so one of the original sort of maps. Definitely more of a stealth focused map and it can be tough for new players to start playing this map. Um, it's hard to take objectives if you don't really know how to get into the buildings effectively, things like that. So. Um, it can be a little frustrating at first until you learn the ins and outs of the map. Um, it has grown on over, uh, grown on me over time, so I really do actually kind of appreciate this map. Um, there's quite a bit of you know, passive security, things like that. Uh, this is the Phoenix version, which is the updated version of the map. They did kind of tone down some of the passive security on this map, so it is a lot more playable. They've also messed with a couple things like um, hack times to get into the buildings, added a little bit of cover, things like that. So. Um, not quite as brutal for the spies to get into the building as the original vanilla version. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look here. Alright, so the spy does spawn in the back here in this uh, sort of train yard. Let's pull up the tactical map first. So this is the spawn area for the spies. We got three buildings, building A, B, and C. Building A has two computer terminals to hack in there. Uh, building B has two disk objectives, and then building C has a bomb plant. Uh, so those are the, the objectives we're going to be looking for. Uh, bear in mind, you do take only two out of three objectives, and once you've done an objective in a building, um, it does disable the remaining you know, objectives in there. So you can only hack like one of the two computers in here before this, this building is done, and then you got to move on to the other building. So you really have to take one objective from two out of the three buildings. So from the spy spawn, um, you can simply just look to hop over this wall that's kind of separating you from the main map. Or you can take this side little route here that does go underneath the ground. Definitely the more you know, stealthy way to enter the map here. And this goes over to building A area. There is a med kit over here, good to know. And if we get on top of this little box here, we can kind of see just a little bit better the whole map here. So here's building A, building B, building C, and then this you know, sort of courtyard area. There's also this tower here with a little zip line, which we'll maybe end up exploring later on. Uh, but I think what I'll try to do is give you guys just a general idea of the layout first and then kind of get, get into the ins and outs. Um, so let's just kind of take this one building at a time. Uh, as you can see, it is very dark in the courtyard as well. So a little tough for mercs to spot you without using flashlight, motion sensors, and possibly even flares. You know, this is one of the maps that flares could actually be somewhat viable. Um, let's get in over to building A. This is the main entrance of building A. Um, this is something that was added, this little sort of tarp here, just to give you a little bit of visible cover, although it does give away your position when you move in here because it kind of flaps this thing around. But then you can hack this panel. This is a reduced hack time from vanilla um, to make it a little bit easier to get into these buildings without getting uh, sp uh, you know, detected here. Right away you're going to run into a motion detector, which I just shot out here. Uh, but this is sort of the lower level of building A. So in here, there is this sort of side room with a back, you know, way to get in through this pole back here. Um, there's another little vent up there that connects through. And there's another little bathroom on the bottom with a med kit. Uh, and then there's another little route in the back back here. Uh, we'll probably come back to those back routes, um, but keep those in mind. I am going to be getting detected by stuff all the time on this map. There's just a good amount of passive security, so I'm probably just going to get detected uh, quite a bit on this map, just showing you around. Uh, there is this sort of side office area. Uh, the important thing to note in here is that there is a vent with a pole that goes up vertical to the second floor. So that's what we're going to be looking at here. Um, as we go up to the second floor, uh, you know, passing on the way here, there is this um, panel here, which you can use to hack out the lights on this building. Um, I don't think I'm going to do it because I do want to make sure you guys can kind of see everything, but that is the panel to hack out the lights. As you go up these stairs, 
be careful there is yet more passive security here there's a camera on these stairs and this leads up to the second level of building a you can go into this uh, side bathroom here there's another health kit and then there's another uh, way to get inside actually uh, little little do people know this is actually a way it looks like a one-way exit but you can get in there we'll, we'll maybe come back to that here um, so let's continue our little route here through the building there is another motion sensor in this hallway so be careful of that if you keep going around um, it just kind of does a little elbow corner there's another motion sensor over here so it, like I said earlier, there's quite a bit of passive security on this map. You got to be kind of careful of that. And then in this kind of larger room, this is the two computer objectives. So building A has a computer here and then another computer over here. So those are the two uh, main objectives. These are uh, 15 or I guess 12 second hacks on these computers. And then you can actually get back up into the ceiling here. Um, and this kind of does go, you know, around, so you can get up in there from the other side as well. There's this little uh, kind of like bookshelf situation. Be careful of these uh, sensors, but you know, this ceiling is a little useful way to not be detected while in the hallway. And then here is that pole that I mentioned um, earlier from the lower office area. So we can just take this down here just to show you where it connects. And here's the lower office. So you can use that pole to get up into the second floor. Uh, from the ground floor of building A. Now let's maybe talk about the kind of back ways into this uh, building. So building A, it seems like, so there's the front door that we already hacked. Um, then there are these two back areas that you can get into. So first of all, you can come back here and pull your legs up and get into the building this way. If you take this little side vent up here, it goes over to the stairway. So that goes up to the second floor. Or you can come back to this uh, other outside vent. And again, this, this looks to be a one way, right? You know, it looks, it's got the little spikes on there. But there is a little trick you can do to get up into the building. Let me see if I can do it. It is a little bit tricky. But there you go. You can do a little backflip to get up into this. Okay. Now the other thing you do, if you get onto this ledge, you can stand up, you can make this jump, and then there's this other ledge that you can once again backflip up onto, and that's going to bring you onto the second floor. So very, very useful jumps to know. I actually just recently discovered those myself, so handy, handy stuff. Uh, let's move on to building B. So back in the courtyard here, building B is the middle building. Um, definitely a few ways into this one as well, but this is the main entrance, right? So once again, we got this tarp. This was added in the Phoenix version, not in vanilla here. Uh, but it does give you a little bit of visual cover. And let's hack the main door here. You know, five second hack. Um, another difference on the Phoenix version of this map is the when you're hacking those panels it just gives a general hacking message and not it doesn't tell you exactly where you are to the mercs so it gives you a little bit more uh, ambiguity when you're making those hacks so then you come into this sort of little loading area I guess you could say it is um, this is just it's got a couple things in here so there is this pole you can get on top of uh, that does kind of help you jump up to the second level up there um, there is a way to get into the next area up there uh, there is this pole you can climb as well, which we can just do, just for the fun of it. As you can see over here, I'm passing, there's another vent up there. We'll have to get around to that because there's another way to get up in there. Uh, but this does kind of lead over here. So you can, uh, you know, then climb up into here. And this is going to get into that second area. So we'll we'll continue on just so you can kind of see how this connects here. So this is the main way to go through this little hallway here. Um, there is some security in this room, so there's a camera right here. Um, there used to be a camera over there, I believe, but they did remove that one for this version of the map. Um, there is an entrance into the building over there. That's another you know, special way in that we'll come back around to. Uh, but this is sort of the, the main sort of connector area of this building B. 
And then once we get over here, there is this elevator that is, at first it's a Merc only. As you can see, it's restricted access. You are able to hack this panel. It only takes like five seconds to do. And this does give the spies access to the elevator. So now it's free access, so we can do that now. Uh, but let's come back to the elevator. Uh, we're going to continue on our little route here. Um, there is the panel in building B for the lights, so you can hack the lights right there. Again, I'm probably not going to hack them just to keep the areas lit up a little bit more, but you can hack the lights out in building B. Uh, there is this ladder you can take to get up there, and then ultimately there's a pole that goes all the way up to the second floor, which is where the discs are. They're all going to be up in that area there, so... Um, that's where we're trying to get to. Uh, while we're in here, well, well, maybe we'll come back to that. There's a, there's another entrance over there, but I think we'll come back to that later. Um, you can also climb up this ladder here to get around, or you can go around the back. There's another ladder over here, and then there's also this pole right here. So you can just climb up the pole. And then instead of taking the elevator, you can take this other vertical pole, which will go to the second level of building B, where the objectives are located. It kind of leads up into the ceiling here. Uh, there are motion sensors right here, or there's one right here. And then if you carry around, there's a couple ways to drop down. Uh, both of these are going to lead to the objectives in here. So there's a disc in this room, and then there's another disc in this room. So let's just go ahead and grab one of them here. So let's go back now that we've kind of seen where the objectives go to um, there is another vent over here I think I'll come back to this once I explain the other ways to get into building B so if you come out this door this is gonna go to the sort of courtyard area uh, again this is building C you know we're at building B over there's building A so it pops out over here um, so you can hack that um, panel down there that's that's one way to get into building B now, there's a couple other ways. Um, probably the other pretty good main one here is to take this pipe. And this is going to lead up the kind of column here and then get into the ceiling. There's also a pipe right here that you can, if you're on the second level, you can use this pipe as well. Uh, but this is going to get you into the ceiling of building B, and I'll show you kind of how this comes through to connect. Uh, we'll come down here. There is a, as you can see, like this is that like loading zone area. We passed it when we were climbing on that pipe before. So this is kind of where that comes in. Uh, you can drop down onto this little catwalk directly next to a sensor, so you do have to shoot out that sensor. And then you can actually kind of run along this like pipe right here. And there's a fun little way to get across, which is right here. You can take this zip line. And that comes over above the, the panel with the, the light hack on it. And then, since we haven't done it yet, let's go ahead and just... Uh, so we can, you, know, you can take that pole, or you can just take this elevator now that we've hacked it. And this elevator will take us up to the second floor objectives as well. Remember, there's a sensor in here. So here's, once again, the objective area. So you can just run out the door like I did before. That's going to bring you to the courtyard over here. Or there's this very nifty little connecting area. So this is going to take you to building C. Um, you can also make this jump just to go back onto the uh, courtyard as well, just to you know, have a slightly less obvious way than just taking the door. So you can go you know, back through the courtyard. Uh, because the disc does need to be dropped back at the spy spawn. Both of those are in the train yard that we spawned in. Uh, but let's go ahead and um, jump down here for a minute here. And let's just talk about the basics of getting into building C. So uh, again, here's the main courtyard, and then there is a um, health kit in this corner. And then here's the main door for building C. So getting into building C, um, right away you're going to run into motion detector over there. Um, there is a kind of back area back here with another health kit and there is a vent that comes in from the outside back here so that's sort of the back entrance which we'll probably c come back to. Um, this one also has an elevator to get to the 
second floor, which is where the objective is. So right now it's saying it's restricted access. Let's go ahead and just hack it. Give us access to that lift. And once you hack these elevators, they should just stay hacked. I don't believe there's a way for the mercs to reverse that hack. Um, and then if we carry on through here, this is into the kind of continuing area um, of building C. So it kind of goes into this little uh, missile area, I guess. Um, now there are three cameras in here, so you have to be careful. There's one in this corner, one over here, and then there should be one over there as well. So there's three cameras. Uh, you got to be kind of careful, but ultimately we're trying to get up into this area. That is where the bomb plants are, is up in there. There's a couple things in here, however, um, for instance, over here, if you come over here, there's the um, another light hack that we can do with this panel. Uh, so you can hack this. This will uh, disable the lights in building C area. Um, you can also make this little jump across. Whoops. <laughs> it can be a little tricky to do. Well, let's actually just... Uh, well, you know what? Maybe you can't make that jump across. You could probably do it from that platform. Um, but you can get up into that vent. That's just a little vent that goes uh, over there. And then you can go up these stairs. Again, I'm going to be detected by like every security in this map. Um, this is the vent that connects, though, so I can actually show it to you from this side. So if you get up in here, this vent just comes down over to the light hack. So this is that vent that I was failing to jump. Uh, but you can come through in here. It does uh, make its way over to kind of where the objectives are, so you can kind of move through in here and drop down. There is a motion sensor right here, uh, but then this is sort of the upper level of where the, the bomb plants are. So as you can see, it kind of connects. It's right at the top of the stairs. So just a small little, little vent that comes through. And in here, uh, this is also the elevator, uh, where the elevator comes out. So we can call that now that we've hacked it. And now it just goes down to the lower floor now. Um, and then this is the bomb planting area. So um, there's another little little small vent that we'll we'll look at here in a second, but there's a plant to, a place to plant the bomb here, here, and then in the next room over. There's a couple more. There's one here and one there. This also kind of loops around. So these are the two bomb planting rooms. And then there is that little vent that I was discussing earlier. Here it is. So if you come into the hallway, you can use this vent right here to also get into the bomb planting area. So that's the other way to get into this room. So that's pretty much the uh, gist of building C. Oh yeah, a couple little extra things here. So when you're in building C, uh, trying to protect the bomb, there are these poles you can hang on. So there's one in here as well as in the other uh, bomb planting area and you can get onto both of those poles to kind of help ambush mercs uh, while you're protecting the bomb. So if you are a merc, you know, watch these ceilings because you can actually get ambushed from above. So just a little useful tactic for that. Uh, but let's keep making our way around here. And this again is a door that goes directly outside to the courtyard. So other useful stuff here. So another, the other way to get into building C is back here. But I do want to show you one other thing first. Because uh, in the courtyard there is this box that you can get into. And this has a route that goes all the way to the back. So this is a really useful little tunnel to know because it's kind of towards the front of the courtyard where the spy spawns and it comes back to the back of building C and allows you to jump this fence back here and this is going to be the back door entrance I guess you could say of building C. So you are able to climb through here and then this is that area with the med kit, this little back door area. Um, there is security over here again. And then here's the elevator, you know, here's just this kind of main connecting area with the, uh, the hallway and all that. So all kind of loops back around here. So that is building C. You do have to use these buttons to open these doors. Um, and then let's talk about the other 
kind of neat feature here. So this is going to get you really exposed, but there's one other way to get into building B, which is this tower, which has a zip line connected to it. So if you climb all the way up, as you can see, you are in the light. You are very, very exposed, but that this does kind of fast zip you into building B. And just to kind of show you where it pops out, it goes into that area like above like with the camera and that pole that you can run along just in this kind of you know central building B area. So that does pop out over there. Um, and then the disc captures are going to be back in the spy spawn, as I mentioned before. Um, but that is Def Tech. Um, again, it's kind of an underrated map. Um, you know, a lot of people get a little frustrated with the passive security things like that once you know where all the passive security is located uh, it really isn't too bad in my opinion um, it is kind of a, a you know a dark map a stealthy map um, you do have to be on your game as the mercs there are only you know three objective buildings and you only gotta get two out of the three so it's just a bit of a more of an interesting uh, map from your typical stuff um, and then you know kind of looking at general strategy stuff um, so you can kind of whittle down the computers in building A, you know, you can kind of slowly kind of whittle those down because, you know, once you tick off a few seconds, you know, they can't be reset. So it's good to kind of tick away seconds on those computers. Um, and then when you're grabbing the um, disks in building B, you can use that little connecting area that is back in here. So you can grab a disk, use that connecting area to jump into building C plant a bomb and that's going to buy you time to try to capture the disc um, you can use the bomb to you know try to pull mercs to disarm it so you can get the computers things like that so those are helpful uh, and then just for one last fun fact you are able to do the split jump on this little uh, bridge area or these little catwalks uh, so you can do it here or on that other uh, pillar area so there's a couple places you can pull it off and you know it is pretty dark up here so you know, you can definitely catch a, a Merc unaware. Um, but yeah, that's going to be my little run through of Def Tech. Uh, if you guys like the video, please do leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and uh, of course put any other additional recommendations in the comments. If you have any other tips and tricks or you want to see other map tours, just leave a comment below here. And I'll see you all guys next time.